Just about everybody in the Tampa Bay area, maybe the nation, knows the name Grady Judd. He's the beloved, no-nonsense sheriff of Polk County. Sheriff Judd is about to celebrate 50 years with the department, and I recently had the opportunity to spend the day with him, and I needed track shoes to keep up. Y'all be safe, have a great weekend, put a lot of bad guys in jail. Remember Sheriff Grady Judd begins every day just like this with his management team at the sprawling Polk County Sheriff's Office. It may be the only time he sits down all day. Every day when I come to work, I'm going to interact with the community that I love. The sheriff leads the department with endless energy, passion, and composure. I give the credit first to God and to my family who allows me to work this craziness and this wonderful work team and they help me connect with the community instead of the suspects driving. sheriff judd has gained notoriety nationally because he's not afraid to tell it like it is and has no qualms about calling out criminals in public i occasionally have someone say well you didn't have to put my son's picture on the news, you know, he was just arrested for attempted murder. Well, I'm so sorry for your luck. Tell him to quit trying to murder people, and I'll quit putting his picture on the evening news. This guy's got a problem. In Polk County terminology, he's got a hitch in his giddy up. I say things that resonate with what I call the normal person, not the person that's far left or far right, but I just appeal to what I call the common sense person. And really, the community gets it. You, all you have to do is lay it out there and tell them the truth. And a little um, entertainment helps draw their attention to what's important, and that's the story. People don't want to see you crank. Keep it in your pants. Sheriff Judd's uncensored style has caught on everywhere in this uneasy time. He comes up with most of his comments in the spur of the moment, like this one that garnered three million views on social media. Just chill out. You know, drink a seven up, eat a moon pie, quit murdering people. I had a lady send me 500 moon pies. 500. Can you believe that? I love moon pies. If you've never eaten a moon pie, you've really not completed that phase of life yet. Even music videos have helped him garner international attention. This thing has been had millions and millions and millions of views all over the world. The sheriff doesn't mind this attention as long as it helps him keep his beloved community safe. My job is to inform the community. Now, some of it is gr rough and graphic and scary, but how are people informed if you don't communicate clearly with them? It's good to see y'all. I'm gonna go in here and get me some lunch. It's obvious spending the day with the sheriff that he is loved here, almost treated like a rock star. His photo and his dad's adorn the wall at A&B Restaurant in the neighborhood where he grew up in Lakeland. His wife, Marisa, handles all the attention with grace. I am too. I'm doing better now that I've seen you. <laughs> Marisa and the sheriff have been married 50 years this summer. High school sweethearts. He told her when they first started dating at age 17 that he had big plans. And they said, well, what I want to do is be the sheriff. And I said, okay, you know, let's, let's go for it. So I figured he wanted to do it, he would. And now almost 20 years later, he's still the sheriff? I know it. And he loves it every day. Does he work too much? Yes. Yes, he does. We're trying to support him. How's that working out? It's not working out. It's not working. <laughs> I can't keep up with him. Marisa knows she can't send him to run errands at Walmart or Lowe's. He won't come back for hours. Too many people stopping him along the way, and he will talk to everyone. Good. I'm doing real good. But he still keeps her laughing 50 years later. He's funny. He's just, he's just a funny person. <laughs> After almost 50 years of marriage, you can still say that. Yes. Even more probably now.
One thing's for sure, the sheriff loves his wife. And the thing about it is I love her more today than I did yesterday and more yesterday than the day before, and that's going on the entire time I've known her. At 68 years old, Sheriff Judd has no plans to slow down anytime soon, and he certainly doesn't plan to run for any other office. How many people can say that they've worked their entire adult life at a job and still wake up most mornings before the alarm goes off excited to come to work. That's where I am. I can't imagine not working. That's foreign to me. I love to work. I love people. And I want a safe community. I figure at July I celebrate 50 years. And the best I've been able to analyze, I'm probably at least halfway through my career. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Well, I think that the people of Polk County want him to stick around as long as he, he wants to, and he can. The sheriff has a big family, two children, 13 grandchildren. So how does he unwind? A lot of people want to know. I think you're going to enjoy seeing his favorite hobby. We'll show you that tonight at 10 o'clock. He is as authentic as it gets. He certainly is. Do you realize that he has taught uh, college classes for law enforcement wow. for 20, he did it for 23 years mm -hmm. before he became, has all his degrees, before he became sheriff. Once he became sheriff, he wasn't able to do it anymore because right. he's too busy, but he would like to do that again. Maybe. Yeah. Can you imagine having him as a teacher, Paul? That'd be a yeah, you class know, I think we'd want to go to. Some life lessons pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sure. I'm going to home tonight. I'm going to have a moon pie when, I, when, I, when I'm done. <laughs> and that's that. That'll be that'll be my dessert. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah, good no, stuff. He's great.